Thank you for tuning in to the Death Needs Dialogue Entertainment Network. These are the final moments that the DM unfortunately forgot as the game came to a close this Saturday at Halcon 2021. Courtney, Jordan, Link, Chris, and Heidi, this one is for you. As you explore beneath the temple, you realize that it's been dug out. There's no foundation under here. Just six to eight feet varying spaces of height of dirt, stone and rock. Strewn upon these stone, rock and dirt are bodies. Dismembered, skinned, burnt. The most cruel tortures that you can imagine. As this is a temple to Delron, the god of cruelty, it does make sense. In the distance, about 40 feet, you see another hallway dug into the dirt itself that dips down. You can't quite see what's at the bottom. As you make your way through the temple basement, you see somebody wrapped in linen their eyes wide, their hair white, their mouth agape. As you draw close, you see them kind of shake. They're bound to this rock. They shake, they shiver. It looks like they inhale and then they let out this wailing, piercing scream amongst the cavern. It echoes and pierces your ears. It lasts for about six seconds and then stops. The eyes and the body close and the body becomes motionless. As you continue down the cavern, it dips down about 20 degrees and only goes down about 30 feet. You get all the way down and you see a pedestal with a blade on it, a wooden hilt and a slight curve to a dagger. If you cast Detect Magic, you realize that it is magic. Once you pick up this weapon, you hear a rumble, and then that same shrilling scream again. It echoes down, you cover your ears, it's intense, more intense down here. And then there's another rumble. You can hear this peel as you look up and teeth begin to close at the edge of the cavern. You run up the slope but it's sand and dirt. It's hard to run up the slope. You can't make it quite well. You reach the very top and the teeth close. You hear a laugh as you look behind you. What dim light there is cast by the implements you are holding cast a shadow of a man with his hands down beside his body. In one hand, there is a dull green glow of energy. In the other, a skull. His head, oblong and large to the top, stretches out into tendrils that dissipate into the ceiling. You can see a smile upon the shadow's face. The last smile that you ever see.